I've always loved to bake, even as a little kid, but my interest in bread baking really came in 1994, yes, I was alive back then, when I watched an episode of Seinfeld that was all about babka. I'd never heard of it, but I made some, tried it, loved it, and really my bread baking journey began then. Well, Christy's here, and she's going to show us how to make chocolate babka, which Elaine said was the greater of the two babkas, cinnamon's the lesser. What do you think? <laughs> well, you can't beat a babka, for It's true. Yes, Elaine definitely preferred the chocolate even when they couldn't find one. But we're gonna make one today All right. full of chocolate. But before we can talk about the chocolate, we have to build a really sturdy foundation. Okay. Because babka is an enriched bread, which you know means it has fat and dairy and sugar added oh, yeah. to the dough. So it's kind of heavy to begin with, and then we're gonna load a lot of chocolate in there. All right, gotta have some substance yes. there. Yes, so I'm using bread flour. It's got more protein than all purpose, so it's gonna give us some good structure. Okay, great. So there's two and a quarter cups or 12 and a third ounces of bread flour. And I'm also adding one and a half teaspoons of instant or rapid rise yeast. We'll give this a whisk. You just wanna make sure that all of the yeast is mixed in well, and then we can start adding the rest of our ingredients. Sounds great. So I have half a cup of whole milk and two large eggs, a tablespoon of grated orange mm. zest. Now this is optional but I don't think it is. I think you need it. Orange and chocolate, it's yeah. so nice together. And it's a really fresh flavor against all this deep chocolate. Okay. And a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So I'll put my dough hook on. We're gonna mix this on medium low speed just to get everything incorporated until we don't see any dry flour remaining. That'll take about two minutes. All right. We're gonna let this rest on its laurels. So I'm just going to take a towel, you could use plastic wrap also, and cover up the bowl. Okay. And we're going to let it rest here for about 15 minutes, just to give the flour a chance to hydrate and the gluten to start developing. Okay. Well, it's been nestled under here for 15 minutes. It's cozy little blanket cozy, there. Cozy, yes. And you're not gonna see any difference. It's just giving everything time to hang out a little bit. Right. So now we can add some sugar. This is a quarter cup of granulated sugar. That's one and three quarter ounces and half a teaspoon of table salt. I'll just mix this on medium speed for about 30 seconds just to get it all mixed. Okay. Okay, that's all mixed in there. Fabulous. Still smells good. Now, we're gonna add some butter. Good. Yeah, because <laughs> I wasn't really that enriched. <laughs> no, it will be now. So I have six tablespoons of unsalted butter. I've cut them into six pieces uh -huh. and let it soften at room temperature. But I'm going to do it one piece at a time on medium high speed. And this should take about three minutes. So you want to take your time. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you can see it's finally kind of all coming together in time for our last piece of butter. We've got some beautiful gluten structure going on in there too. Mm -hmm. It's getting a little bit webby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, love that. Now that looks a lot different than it did. A uh, heck of a lot different. <laughs> that is a gorgeous dough. It's a really nice dough now. I'll transfer this to a greased bowl. It's a little sticky. So I'm gonna cover this with some plastic wrap and we'll let this rise at room temperature just for an hour. It's not gonna rise a lot. We just wanna get it a little puffy. Okay and then we'll transfer it to the refrigerator where we want it to firm up for at least two hours or up to 24 hours. All right, sounds good. We've chilled our dough. It's looking good. But before we attack that, we've got a little filling to make. It's the chocolate in the chocolate bop. It is, it is. <laughs> so I have melted eight ounces of bittersweet chocolate that I chopped nice and fine, okay. and eight tablespoons of unsalted butter. I microwaved that at 50% power for about two minutes until we have this gorgeous, melted, smooth. Lovely. Yes. Now, we'll add half a cup. This is one and a half ounces of unsweetened cocoa powder. And I've already sifted this okay. so we don't have any lumps. And I have half a cup, which is two ounces of confectioner sugar that I also sifted. And obviously that's going to sweeten things a bit, but it's also going to thicken the filling so it's not going to squeeze out the sides or sink to the bottom of the loaf. That is actually a big problem with chocolate babka. Any, any chocolate filled dessert, mm -hmm. yeah, it'll just, you'll end up with a chocolate pool in the bottom of the pan. And that's no good. No. And half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Okay, so yeah, that is... I just is... wanted to make that and eat it with a spoon. You get no judgment from me. All right. Good. All right. 
Before we resort to that, though, let's make the dough. I'm testing the <laughs> limits of our friendship here. <laughs> All right. As you can see, this hasn't gotten really big, but it is definitely a little puffy. Slightly inflated. May I? Please. Don't stop now. Oh, and it's, it is firm. Mm -hmm. and that's going to make it easier to roll and definitely easier to shape. Great. So I want to use a little bit of bench flour, but I stress little. Okay. We don't want to put too much flour because we need the dough to stick to the counter a little bit so that it doesn't slide all over the place when we go to roll it out. Okay. Can always add more if we need it. Cover my rolling pin a little bit. All right, now I have my ruler. I want to roll this into a 12 by 18 inch rectangle with the short side parallel to the counter okay. and me. And this looks like a really forgiving dough. Such a nice dough to work with. It really is. Just about there. We're definitely there. And it looks kind of like a rectangle, too. It, it looks amazingly <laughs> similar to a rectangle. Thank you. Yes. All right, so now we can take our filling. If it starts to thicken up a little bit, just use your spatula, give it a good stir. Gotcha. Give myself a head start here. Now I'll use my offset spatula to just smooth this out Ooh. all over the dough. It's like ganache is what it looks like. <laughs> well, it, it really is. It kind of is. And we want to go all the way to the edge on three sides, and we'll leave about half an inch up here at the top okay. that we don't cover with chocolate. And we just want to leave that little bit at the top so we can seal it once we've rolled it up. I think we're ready to roll. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. All right, starting at the chocolate side. Mm -hmm. And we're going to roll this pretty tightly. And we want to try to keep it the 12 inches that it is. Just sort of work it a little bit at a time. All right, so as I get up here, you can see where we don't have chocolate. And I'm going to pinch that up against the dough to seal it. Don't be afraid to give it a good pinch. I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to roll this over. I'm facing the long side. Now I'm going to take a serrated knife that I've already sprayed with some vegetable oil spray or greased okay. it. And we want to make a nice long cut through it. But the key is not sawing back and forth. Right. We want to have a nice clean cut all the way through. Well done. Thank you. And we want to open it up. So see, we have these beautiful long chocolate oh. stripes because we weren't sawing back and forth. So I'm going to put the two sides right next to each other with the cut sides up. And now we twist. We'll start left over right, and we're going to try to get four to five twists. Okay. So we have a lot of swirls in this bread. Now this is a pretty, oh. pretty easy technique. Just a little hard to sometimes get a lot of twists. So notice I'm keeping that cut side up. Yes. As I do the twist. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. You kind of go back at the beginning because that's where it's a little harder to get started. Right. Oh my gosh. I think that looks good. Now we're going to pinch the ends together so it's a solid loaf. to completely get myself messy. That's right. We have a loaf pan that we've buttered with a tablespoon of unsalted butter. Lift this up in, try to squeeze it in there. Deal. Then actually, do you mind? We wanna give a couple good taps. All right. How's <laughs> Just that? wanna make sure that it's nice and snugly in the pan. So I have wire rack set inside a rimmed baking sheet. So we're putting the loaf pan on the rack to get better air circulation and also to keep the bottom of the loaf from scorching. Okay. I have a 325 degree oven all ready to go with the rack in the middle position. We'll bake this for 30 minutes uncovered and then I'll bring it out and put some foil over the top to make sure that the top doesn't burn. Okay. And we'll put it back in for another 50 minutes to an hour. Okay. Bridget, the babka is just about done, but before I get it, we're going to make a really quick sugar syrup to go okay. over top. Now, it's probably sweet enough as it is, but when has that stopped us before? No, I mean, you're sweet enough and I can never get enough. <laughs> 
So I'm going to use half a cup of granulated sugar. This is three and a half ounces and just a quarter cup of water. Two to one. It's a pretty concentrated sugar syrup. I'll just heat this over medium heat until the sugar dissolves. That's pretty much it. So basically once it's clear, you're ready. All right. This looks good. Okay. Let's get the babka. Let's go. Get the door for you. Thank you. Ooh. We can't just go by the looks alone. Okay, right. You've got to tempt this, because like we said, this is an enriched dough. So we want this to get a little bit higher in temperature than we do with leaner dough. So we want this to be between 200 and 205. We're at 203. I think we're good. All right, so now we have our nice glaze. We're going to paint it. I'm just going to use all of this glaze. All of it? All of it. I'm going to use my best painting technique to just douse the top of this with the sugar syrup. Mm -hmm. That's it, Bridget. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> now, we do need to let this rest in the pan for an hour just to make sure that the structure is all set. Right. And then we have to take it out very carefully and let it rest for another two hours until it cools completely. Okay. Well, that makes sense. And rich breads take longer to cool. But they're so worth it. 100%. <laughs> Are you ready for this? I am ready for this. Oh, it's cold. Yes. <laughs> Babka time. <laughs> I hate to cut into it, though. I mean, you don't. I really do you not <laughs> hate to cut into it at all. <laughs> We're going to cut good, healthy slices. Oh, Look help at the me. swirls. Help me, help me. Look at that. Now, I want these slices to be pristine, so I am going to wipe off my knife. OK. You should call that tiger bread because it's fierce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these layers. My plate looks empty. <laughs> I'm going to take this, this wee slice here. <laughs> oh. Dive in. You're right. <laughs> you can't beat a babka. You cannot beat this babka. <laughs> mm. It's pillow soft in there. Even with the eggs, the butter that you added, and then the chocolate, it still has structure. Now, you think one loaf is going to be enough? <laughs> Thanks, Christy. Christy has a few words for us now. <laughs> Thank you, Christy. This is amazing. <laughs> Stop what you're doing right now and make this chocolate babka. And it starts with using bread flour for plenty of structure. Twist the loaf to prevent air gaps and then glaze that loaf while it's nice and hot. So from Cook's Country, I think it's the king of breads, chocolate babka. Might even be the greater of babkas. Oh, hands down. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>